This is Jesse Ellie. We're here in Salem, Mass. Today, we're going to be interviewing some people, asking some questions, and see what's going on here in Halloween Town. Come with me and check it out. What's your name? Alicia. And where are you from, Alicia? New Orleans. Oh, girl! I've been to New Orleans. It is so fun out there. So I'm just wondering, what is the biggest struggle that you're going through right now? And if you're not going through a big struggle, how do you stay motivated? Consistency. Is that your one? Yo, she gave a one word. Yeah, because um, just staying motivated to be consistent, um, setting new goals. That's what I struggle with. Um, but I found just finding something new to set a new goal will just help you stay consistent a little bit at a time, one day at a time. This girl is dropping gems from New Orleans, you heard? I appreciate you so much. Thank you. No problem. Thank you for having me. Enjoy Salem. <laughs> it's your girl, Jessie Ellie, here in Salem. And we are here with... Dante. What's going on, Dante? Uh, same shit, different day. Setting up your drums for a busy day? Yep, yep, doing a lot of busking today in Salem. Hey, we love that. So I just have a question. Um, as of being a motivational podcast, what is the biggest battle you're going through right now? And if you're not going through a battle, how do you stay motivated? Probably just, um, I mean, I'm doing music all the time. And I would say the biggest battle for me right now is just staying focused and just, you know, putting yourself first before anything, you know, because people in life will try to take advantage of you and try to push you to do things that you don't want to do. But you got to learn to just be yourself and take your best interests in mind and put yourself first above everyone else. I resonate with that so much. That is so honest. That is so true. That is such facts. If you guys heard what Dante just said, make sure you focus on yourself. Always put yourself first because that's how you get to the top. Thanks, Dante. I hope yeah. you have a great day. You too. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. I'm here in Salem with Sarah and Rachel. And Rachel. And where, where are you guys from? Maryland. Hi, guys. <laughs> awesome. And so my question is for you. What is the biggest battle that you're going through right now? And if you're not going through a battle, how do you stay motivated? Um, I don't sleep, and I stay motivated by coffee. Awesome. We love that. I love coffee. Yeah, me too. Mom, what about you? My biggest battle is worrying about my daughter, who doesn't get enough sleep or downtime. <laughs> so a daughter needs more coffee, and a mom needs more daughter, question mark. But yeah. thank you so much. Hope you guys have a great day in Salem. Downtime. And what do I do about that? I nag. <laughs> and mom's nag. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Hope you have a great day. Oh my God, have a great one. <laughs> Appreciate it. I'm here in Salem with Miriam. Hi, guys. Miriam. And where are you from, Miriam? I'm from Austria, Europe. Wow, from Austria. That's awesome. So I'm just wondering right now, what is the biggest battle that you're going through in your life? And if you're not going through a battle, how do you stay motivated? So I'm really. I think I'm not in a battle right now because I I feel like it's important that you always stay yourself and usually I'm I'm battling with myself so I would say make sure that you stay yourself and make sure that you stick to your values basically yes, yes. so I, think I completely agree this is how I stay motivated I love that always be yourself always stick to your values be true to who you are old soul young world we're here in Salem with Shannon Phil and my question for you guys is what is the biggest battle you're going through right now <laughs> okay, I am, I just like had my, what's it called, quarter life crisis. Mm -hmm. I'm still in it for sure. Um, battling what, what feels like, everything feels really permanent right now. Like the youthful stuff is kind of coming to an end. Same. My decisions feel like they have more impact. And I don't necessarily feel ready for all of my decisions to have the impact that they do. <laughs> and you, Phil? Uh, finding ultimate purpose in life. Oh my gosh. As an old soul talking to these people right now, it makes me feel a lot better because I struggle with my own depression, my own anxiety, my own purpose. So make sure you guys keep trying, keep fighting. We're all going to get through it together. Oh, okay.